Welcome everyone to our Fall 2024 Premium Edition Games Direct. It's great to be back. It's always exciting showing off fantastic games from truly awesome developers. While I'm sure everyone is excited about these fantastic games, let's start with our usual update on the previous series. That's a great idea, Jeff. Starting with Series 6, Wife Quest is in hand. All pre-orders have been shipped and our second chance sale copies are live on our website right now. Meanwhile, Super Dungeon Maker carts and physical packaging have been ordered, and we're just waiting for everything to arrive at our assembly plant. The proofs for Super Dungeon Maker did arrive, and it looks awesome. We hope to have Super Dungeon Maker shipped out to everyone soon. The same applies to two of our Series 7 titles, Lonesome Village and Anachar. Carts and packaging have been ordered and will ship out once assembled. Check out these fantastic proofs for both of these titles. As for Sunshine Anthology, we were delayed by the porting of Camp Sunshine to the Switch. We'll talk more about Sunshine later in this direct. Moving on, all three Series 8 titles are in the process of finalizing everything. Once that's done, they will be ordered. As for Series 9, we are finishing finalizing all the art and production pieces. But since we do this in Series order, they are a tad behind. We want to make sure each release is the best that they can be. As for our PlayStation Series 1 releases, the discs are ordered from Sony and we're awaiting them and the physical items to arrive for assembly. Meanwhile, PlayStation Series 2 is in the same stage as Switch Series 9. We're finalizing all the items so that way we can begin the ordering. With all of that out of the way, I think we should toss this over to Jordan and Tristan to talk about our first Switch Series 10 title. I can't wait to see what you guys have to show us. Hello everyone, happy to be back to discuss our first Switch Series 10 title. And this is a great one too, so happy to be able to talk more about this game. I am proud to have helped bring this one out physically. Our whole community was excited when we teased this in the summer, so I say we don't waste any time. Jordan, would you like to do the honors? Would be my pleasure, let's roll that trailer. Excuse me. I... Hi everyone. This is Joseph, the CEO and president of Top Hat Studios. I'm excited about our partnership with Premium Edition for Alyssa's physical editions. Uh, since day one of the game's release on consoles, we've gotten near nonstop questions about if physical edition is planned, what the physical edition would look like, it was all over social media. Alyssa is a game that we're thrilled to be able to faithfully port the consoles and publish, and feedback for it has really been astonishing all around on Metacritic, on social media, um, even on device. Um, it's really been amazing to see. Given our belief in really connecting with fans and you know, also in deep respects, just out of the artistic qualities the actual game has, uh, we've been working hard alongside Casper, the developer, to ensure that we can guarantee a you know wonderful physical edition for the game, one that it really deserves. Uh, ourselves at Casper, we've been working really closely with Premium Edition to create amazing physicals for everyone, and we can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Uh, thank you to everyone for supporting the game, um, and also, of course, thank you to Premium Edition for partnering with us. Our premium standard for Alyssa Developer's Cut contains the full game on card, full color manual, two-sided inlay, challenge card, with our higher quality slipcase. We'll have these available for an open pre-order starting today, October 28th, 2024, right after this direct. 
Our retro edition contains everything in the premium standard, plus a soundtrack CD and a bonus item that will be revealed soon. All housed in our high quality embossed retro box. These will also be on our website starting today, October 28th, 2024, right after this direct. We're excited to be working with Casper Crows and Top Hat Studios to release Alyssa Developer's Cut physically for the Switch. This horror-themed action-adventure game is a true throwback to the golden age of 90s 3D games. It feels like a brand new PlayStation 1 release. As Agent Alyssa, you find yourself stuck in a very strange mansion. Trapped in a world upside down, you must find a way to escape the dollhouse, if you can. We hope you're all up to the task and are prepared to dive headfirst into this one. As for the PlayStation versions that we teased last time, we'll discuss that further in 2025. With that said, this is just the beginning. For now, I say we pass this over to Frank and Jeff to discuss our latest NES offering. Sounds good. You're up, guys. Hello, all you beautiful people. Hope you're all as psyched about Elisa as we are. For all those people that love that spooky, I'm sure they are. Especially if they're fond of the original PlayStation era. It was a great time to be a gamer, honestly. Let's turn that dial back even further to the golden age of the 8-bit, the NES. A system that the premium team is very fond of, and we're fond of helping independent developers release their amazing aftermarket games physically. First, a quick update. All Oratorio pre-orders have shipped, and second chance copies are in stock and shipping already. So make sure you guys check that out. Jim and Dale 1 and 2 are also being manufactured, so we aim to have them assembled and shipped out to everyone in the coming months. Finally, Crater Song has just ended its pre-order window and will be entering physical production soon. Don't forget we still have remaining copies of Four Body Bonner's Tale and Bobby 67 available on our website right now. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's talk about something new. Like a brand new kick-ass aftermarket NES game? Let's not waste any more time and roll that trip. I'm Joe Blair, the developer of Sunset Land, a brand new Metroidvania for the NES. Inspired by games like Celeste, Mega Man, Zelda, and Castlevania II Simon's Quest, it blends tense shooting combat and platforming with a rich world to explore. The gameplay centers around using air jumps and psychic blasts to overcome enemies and platforming challenges alike. Both of these skills are tied to the same energy pool, so learning how to manage them efficiently is your key to success. The game begins when you land on Venture, a planet colonized by competing corporations to harvest its valuable resources. You play as a psychic named Marco, who is tasked with stealing three stellar crystals, artifacts which contain tremendous amounts of energy for an intergalactic mob boss. But the different factions Marco meets along the way will cause him to question his mission and place him in even greater danger. Your mission will take you across mountains, into abandoned mines, through arid wastelands, to an industrialized metropolis, and more. And of course, if you head off the beaten path, there are plenty of secrets you can find. It's been great working with Premium Edition games to bring the physical release of Sunset Land, my very first NES game, to life. I hope all of you enjoy it. Our NES release of Sunset Land comes complete on cart with a full color manual and challenge card all housed in our NES sized retro box. We'll also have a very limited silver edition like our other NES releases. You can secure your copy when pre-orders open on our website soon. This excellent Metroidvania from the talented Rivet Gun Games is the perfect title to challenge your NES skills. In this game, you use your psychic abilities to blast enemies, all while navigating difficult platforming challenges. 
As Marco, you must steal three stellar crystals from an intergalactic mob boss on the planet Venture. Do you think you have what it takes? We're excited for you to all get your hands on this excellent adventure soon. Take it away, Michelle and Charlotte. Tell us about upcoming shows that you can find us at. Hello, everyone. Hope you've all been enjoying your direct so far. It's only the beginning, and we have a bunch more to share with you. That's right. For now, we should probably talk about where people can find us in the coming months. Sounds like a plan. The holiday season isn't as busy for conventions, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to come grab your convention-exclusive variants. Absolutely. At the end of this month, you can find us at Yumicon in Detroit, Michigan from October 31st until November 3rd. We'll also be at Rhode Island Comic Con in Providence, Rhode Island from November 1st till November 3rd. You'll be able to see us next at Galaxy Con in Columbus, Ohio from December 6th to December 8th. The following week, you'll be able to find a team at Anime Weekend Atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia from December 13th until December 15th. Our final show for 2024 is Holiday Mitsuri in Orlando, Florida, which happens on December 20th and goes until December 22nd. There could also be another show or two that we attend but have nothing to announce yet. So stay tuned for any future convention announcement. We also have a very busy 2025 convention circuit, but we'll discuss more about that in a future direct. Hope to see you all at a show. If you're there, please stop by and say hi. Let us know if you found out about us attending from the direct. In the meantime, let's send this over to Barry and Jordan to talk all about the latest updates on the games we've partnered with through Kickstarter. Sounds good. Take it away, fellas. Hello, everyone. Hope you've all been enjoying the show thus far. If you're able to stop by one of our booths, please come by and make sure to say hi. Meeting fans at conventions sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to take part in a show, hopefully. I really hope you're able to. They are a blast. It's always fun getting to meet everyone and hang out. Before we get too off topic, we should give some time to our Kickstarter partners. We've got some updates to go over. That we do. We've been very fortunate to work with some very talented developers to help make their games a reality. So, let's check in with them. To start off, let's go back to Premium's first ever Kickstarter, the Sunshine Anthology, consisting of both Camp Sunshine and Sunshine Manor. Sunshine Anthology went up for pre-order as part of our seventh series last fall. You all have been patiently awaiting your copies to come out. But we were unfortunately stuck waiting for Camp Sunshine to be ported to the Switch, so that way we can print the cards. So, let's check in with our good friend Paul of Fossil Games to hear the latest on that port. Hello everyone, it's Paul from Fossil Games here. Just wanted to give you a quick update with regards to what's happening with the Sunshine Anthology from Premium Edition Games. I'm delighted to tell you that both Sunshine Manor and Camp Sunshine are now finished, ported and handed over to the Premium Edition Games team. So the next updates you'll be here will be from them and we cannot wait to get those items into your hands. Thanks so much for your support and if you can't wait, please grab a digital key for Camp Sunshine as it was released on October the 9th. Thank you, Paul. We aren't happy that it's taken so long, but now that Camp Sunshine is available digitally on the Switch, physical cartridges can be manufactured, so that process will start soon. We apologize for the lengthy delay. We truly appreciate everyone's patience. Moving on, Poglings was our next Kickstarter from Yo Joyco. Chad Tronic has informed us that the game is coming along incredibly well, and he'll be posting some brand new updates soon, so please make sure to follow along on his Kickstarter for the latest updates. I'm eager to see what he's got in store for us, but for now we'll just have to wait patiently. Our next Kickstarter that we partnered with was Crystala from Astral Clock Tower Studios. This action Souls-like title released into early access on Steam earlier this year. They have been constantly updating the game and it looks more amazing with each update. Let's check in with Sarah from Astral Clock Tower Studios for the latest on Crystalla. Greetings travelers, Sarah here with Astral Clock Tower Studios and I'm incredibly excited for another new direct so that I can clue you in on everything that's been going on with Dark Fantasy ARPG Crystalla since we last met. Last week, our second installment creeped its way onto Steam just in time for Spooky Season, which is incredibly fitting given that Chapter 2 of our ongoing saga features the new level areas for our necromantic clan of cats, the Myrtunans. 
That means you can expect tons of new jump scares and thrills as we introduce 10 new enemies to the game, including new zombified undead foes to the Mirish Grotto, and the introduction of a new enemy type, the Tortured Spirits, to the Hallowed Haunts. Plus, Chapter 2 features a new playable clan option and new spells to be leveled on a comprehensive magic leveling tree, the ancient elemental ice magic of the Tendara clan. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all the new features and goodies we've packed into this update. Get ready to experience new traversal skills, new NPCs and quest lines, new weapons and armor, and new challenging and fun bosses, including a special Halloween-themed boss we'll be unveiling in two days. It's all part of our month-long Crystalloween celebration. And you can even get your paws on two new exclusive in-game collector's items, the Hallowed Lantern and Pyromaster Skull Helms, available to all players for a limited time. So if you've been on the fence about Crystalla, now's the time to sink your claws into all things creepy and macabre that we've lovingly packed into this second chapter. And don't forget to capitalize on our lowest pricing yet. You can save 31% on our early access release right now on Steam. As a small indie studio that doesn't have the power of a publisher backing us, every single purchase of the game helps us continue to do what we do for the people that matter the most, you, the players. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. And now, enjoy the full teaser trailer for Chapter 2 of Crystalla. We hope you enjoy it. Crystalla is really looking better and better. I love to see more additional content being added and I can't wait till the game is completely done. In the meantime, you can support the team via their backer kit including grabbing our PS5 physical copy and you can check out the demo over on Steam right now. Following Crystalla, we partnered with JCAT Games Limited to help bring God Shard Chronicles to life. This action RPG with heavy influences from Secret of Mana, Legend of Zelda, and Lunar exceeded all of our expectations, and development has been underway. Let's check in with the team and see what they have to share. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan with the Godshot Chronicles team. Uh, today we've got lots of exciting new exclusive updates for you, so let's just jump right in. For the past few months, uh, most of our development time has gone into three main things, one of which are our levels, specifically our castle and city levels. If you follow us on socials, you might have seen a couple of screenshots of these. Here's a quick pan of the castle area. Hi, this is Deki, the level and map designer for Godshard Chronicles, and today I'd like to show you some of the new areas and tech that we've been working on. But please note that this is a debug area, and everything will be iterated upon as we progress through development. We now have functionality for jumping off ledges and across gaps at specific points, which will make exploration far more engaging. Players can use jumping, as well as climbing, switch hitting, and other verbs that they'll find throughout the game to discover hidden treasure, collectibles, secret monsters, and more. And one of the next features we're going to be implementing is actually a staple of action RPGs called breakables, such as pots and the weeds and small flowers that you see on this map. You'll be able to slice these open and obtain rewards, such as healing orbs, mana restoration orbs, perhaps collectibles, even some money perhaps. Uh, the possibilities are pretty endless, and we want to stretch this feature as far as we can within reason. 
On top of all this, we have some new additions we would like to show you. First is our Hobgoblin boss. His sprite is very large and detailed, so he's been in the works for a while, but we think it paid off, and the player will really get the feeling of fighting something massive and ferocious. You can also see a couple of his animations. That axe throw is a personal favourite of mine. You really do not want to get hit by that. Next is something I really can't say much about. We have in the works a fully animated opening for Godshard Chronicles, directed by Yoshiharu Ashino. He's worked on some pretty cool stuff in the past, like the Berserk movies from 2013, which I personally hold in very high regard, so having him be a part of our project was very exciting. I would like to touch on just how great it's been to interact with our community, whether that be working with some of our backers to design interesting and fun NPCs, or just reading the comments you guys have left across our platforms. We've had positive comments that really light up our days, uh, constructive comments which are never taken lightly. We really appreciate feedback. We want to create an RPG which all of you will enjoy, so please do keep sharing your thoughts as we very much enjoy reading them. So, what's next? Well, many of you will recognise Jennifer Stigel, the voice behind the unforgettable songs of the Lunar series during the Working Designs era. This December, she'll be travelling to Japan for an exciting moment, meeting the legendary composer Noriyuki Iwadare for the first time to record a brand new vocal track. Although Jennifer has sung on several of his compositions in the past, she and Iwadare have never met in person until now. We can't wait to be the ones to witness this historic collaboration come to life. Also, our final recording sessions with John Truitt, the iconic voice of Galleon, will also take place during this time. We're eager to share his powerful performance with the world once again as we work together to deliver his finest portrayal yet. Alright, thank you for your support, and we're excited to continue this journey with you. Stay tuned for future updates and content, and don't forget to follow our social media platforms for more updates. And with that, goodbye. Helping bring this game to life has been a real pleasure, and we hope you all enjoy it when it's completed. Don't forget, you can still support Godshard Chronicles via their backer kit, which includes grabbing a copy of the physical on Switch, PS4, and PS5. Next up, we have Atomic Owl from Monster Theater Games and East Asia Soft. This action-packed side-scrolling roguelike just oozes charm. Let's check in with the team and see how things have been progressing since their successful campaign. Hello everyone, welcome to the Premium Edition October Direct. I'm Eldar, and today we're going to take a deep dive into the world of our upcoming game, Atomic Owl. Get ready for an exclusive look at gameplay, features, and some surprises along the way. Remember me? First off, it's Hidalgo. Hidalgo Babalgo! What's the difference? Still a bird brain. Is that sword talking? And glowing? And has a creepy eye? In the Atomic Owl demo, we start a little bit into the story. Hidalgo has been freed with the help of the chatty demonic blade, Mezameta, and the adventure begins. In the first few minutes of the demo, you'll get a glimpse into our platforming style, jumping, dashing, absorbing Meza from the environment, and you'll get a glimpse into how our game's combat system works. It's at this point, you're thrown into Bladewing City, a sprawling cityscape where things start to open up a little bit. Here, you'll encounter the very first few major enemies of the game, the dreaded Tengu, and where you'll learn how our time slowdown combat mechanic works in a little bit more detail. It's also important to stop along the way and hear not only what the Mezameta Blade has to say, but what the denizens of the world of Atomic Owl have to say as well.
And then, at the end of the demo, or at least near the end of the demo, you'll get a glimpse into Hidalgo's dark transformation, the Deadly Void Crow. We hope you enjoy the demo. It's up right now on Steam, and we hope you'll enjoy not only our vibrant pixel art, brisk combat, and set soundtrack, but just in general what we're trying to achieve here, and what we're trying to do with making our mark in the indie game scene. Thanks for playing. I love seeing this game come along. We fell in love with it when we first saw the trailer. But Eldar and his team have really kicked it into high gear to bring us one incredible looking game. I hope you all get a chance to check out that demo. You can still show support to the team via their Patreon. I know they appreciate the support. Next up, we have Soul Quest from Soul Blade Studios and Freedom Games. We announced this last Direct, and the Kickstarter launched in late September. It has almost reached its goal, so let's help make this one a true success. Let's check in with the team for an update on the Kickstarter. Hi, I'm Tomás Pereira, the developer behind SolQuest, which a uh, Kickstarter campaign has started uh, two weeks ago, and we already reached half of our funding goal, which is great because we still have uh, 20 more days left of campaign. Uh, but there's still a, a long way to go, not only to try to complete our funding goal, but also to try to reach some of the first stretch goals of the game, that I personally think it will add a lot of value to all SolQuest players, and some of the th those stretch calls include new game modes being available on day one, uh, three more languages for the game also being available on day one and being selected by our community, and also more ports to other consoles like PlayStation and Xbox uh, to try to have the game being available on all possible consoles. And I hope we together can make the best uh, to the action game possible. So, hope you for the best. Thank you so much. See you later. Oh, you must be kidding me! Thanks so much for the update, Tom. We're in the final days now, so let's end strong. Don't miss out on this killer action game. If you haven't done so already, you could also check out the demo available on Steam. Finally, that brings us to our latest Kickstarter, Forge of the Fae from Datadyne, which we are honoured to be working with and have joined their ongoing Kickstarter to offer physical versions for Switch and PlayStation 5. This beautiful turn-based RPG takes inspiration from games like Secret of Mana, Breath of Fire, Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger to create an unforgettable experience. If you haven't already seen this one, let's check out the trailer and hear from the executive producer of Dead or Done. Hi everyone, I'm David, the creator of Forge of the Fae, a Celtic-inspired pixel art JRPG that blends steampunk with Celtic lore to create a rich, immersive world. 
I'm super excited to finally be able to share our public demo, a vertical slice of what we plan to make for the full game. I'm also really excited to announce that our Kickstarter has finally begun and is ongoing right now. We're really looking forward to sharing this journey with you. In Forge of the Fae, you'll explore a world filled with lore, intriguing characters, and strategic yet modern turn-based combat. Inspired by the classics such as Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, Breath of Fire, and Secret of Mana, we wanted to capture that sense of adventure and discovery that made these games so special while adding our own unique twists. Whether it's uncovering the mysteries of the Fae, crafting powerful items, or making choices that impact the story, there's something for every RPG fan here. Now, we've put together some really amazing Kickstarter exclusive rewards for our backers. We've got digital goodies like the digital art book, the soundtrack, and of course, if you're looking for something a little more tangible, we've got the physical copies of the game available for Nintendo Switch, for PlayStation 5, and even a special retro Nintendo Switch edition. Each comes with exclusive items like the full color manual, challenge card, plus so much more. These editions are designed specifically for collectors and for fans. I'm also thrilled to be partnering with Premium Edition Games for the physical release of Forge of the Fae. Barry, Jeff, and Phil are an incredible team who share a passion for bringing indie games to life with the quality and attention to detail that rivals our own. Their work speaks for itself, and I couldn't think of a better group to deliver Forge of the Fae into your hands. So, check out our Kickstarter page and consider backing Forge of the Fae. Your support will help turn this dream into a reality. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to share more updates with you very soon. This game looks gorgeous. It really scratches that retro RPG itch. If you haven't had the opportunity yet, you can also check out the demo for the game on Steam. The campaign just ended at over 14 times its goal, and all announced stretch goals are hit. You can still grab your Kickstarter versions of this awesome RPG via their backer kit. Whew, that was a lot of games to go over. Hopefully, everyone watching is excited to see these games finished and released. I agree. I can't wait to see what each of these talented teams has created by the time they are all completed. What do you say we send this over to Phil and Tristan to hear about another Switch Series 10 title? I say that sounds like a fine idea. What do you two have for us? Wow, that was a lot of Kickstarter updates. Glad to see so much progress on all those titles. Seriously, they all work so incredibly hard in bringing out the best games possible. I'm always so amazed with the developers we get to work with. I think we all wish we could be half as talented. But speaking of talented developers, I think we should announce our next Switch Series 10 title. I gotta say, it's pretty amazing. We're at the big 1-0. I think our team deserves a reward. Double digits, Phil. I like the way you think. But first, let's see what game joins Switch Series 10. Roll that trailer. Hi, my name is Nigel and I'm the developer of Arcade Tycoon. This game will be coming out on pre-order on Premium Edition Games. Check out the website. The game uh, is a mixture blend of nostalgia and modern game mechanics. You manage and build your own arcade. 
you manage the staff, you hire, you fire, you sort out the people who come in, who rage, and aliens who invade, and try and maximize profits while being entertained. When buying from Premium Edition Games on the website, you will get exclusive content, which is 14 arcade machines, which will be inside the game when you open up, and support your little uh, independent dev. Thank you! Our premium standard for Arcade Tycoon contains the full game on cart, full color manual, two-sided inlay, challenge card with our higher quality slipcover. We'll have these available for an open pre-order starting November 11th, 2024. Our Retro Edition contains everything in the premium standard plus a CD soundtrack and a bonus item that will be revealed soon. All housed in our high quality embossed retro box. These will also be on our website starting November 11th, 2024. We're honored to bring out Arcade Tycoon from Vincent Corporation. This game lets you live out the dream of owning your own arcade. You can design it any way you want, adjust the machines, add in refreshments, run promotions, and so much more. The game also has a bunch of humorous situations that occasionally occur, like customers getting mad at the machine, abusing it, and then getting electrocuted. There's also aliens that may come down and cause havoc. It can really be crazy. Arcade Tycoon features a 12-level, single-player campaign in addition to a sandbox mode where you can design to your heart's desire. Plus, there's more than 400 different arcade machines that can populate your arcade. This includes VR, hockey tables, rides, and something special and unique that's exclusive to our physical release. special it is. Our physical version of Arcade Tycoon helps celebrate our 10 series of titles with a bunch of our previous releases being included as arcade games you can populate with your personal arcade. There are even a few guest machines included. You really can make your own premium arcade. We hope you all have as much fun designing your own arcade as we have. We look forward to everything you guys create. Now then, should we toss it over to Charlotte and Frank for another Switch game? Sounds good to me. Floor is yours, you two. Hey everyone, what jam-packed direct already. Happy to be back to discuss the latest Premium has to offer. Always a pleasure to be partnered with you, Charlotte. Aw, thanks Frank. So, according to the script, it says we have another Switch title to show off. Yup, and like Arcade Tycoon, this one is also a surprise. We've never teased this one. Well then, we should probably check out the trailer. Hey everyone, it's Luke, the Metroidvania Guru. I'm here today to reveal one of Premium Edition Games' latest arrivals. Given my name and expertise, you've probably already put together what kind of game it is. But do you know which game it is? I'll give you some hints. It takes place in the distant dystopian future of 1997. It stars a BMX riding superhero, and it's a direct sequel to a cult classic movie full of violence, gore, and love. Figure it out yet? Let me give you one more hint.
That's right, Turbo Kid is raising his way on the consoles, partnering with Premium Edition Games for its physical release. Are you ready to become a master in the art of kicking ass? I personally wanted to reveal this collaboration because I'm such a huge fan of the Turbo Kid franchise. I fell in love with the 2015 movie, fell in love again with its short film starring everyone's favorite post-apocalyptic gal, Apple, ate up its comic book series, and still cannot get enough of its game. For Turbo Kid fans, this game is the real deal. Many of the same folks who worked on the movie also worked on and collaborated with the game, including the movie's directors and some of the writers. The movie's beloved composer, Lamato, returns to add his distinctive ethereal synthwave to the game's soundtrack. Heck, even Jike Dion, the Turbo Kid movie storyboard artist and main illustrator for the Turbo Kid comics, brings his talents to the game. The Turbo Kid game really can't get any more legit than that. But how does it play, Guru, I hear you asking? Short answer, it plays like a fantastic Metroidvania with lots of humor, fan service, not that kind of fan service, weirdos, and a great and surprisingly endearing narrative. Long answer, well, go to my channel and watch my long form review where I discuss in great detail why Turbo Kid is such a fun Metroidvania. You'll find I gave it a glowing recommendation at its initial launch. But wait, there's more. To celebrate Turbo Kid's physical release with Premium Edition games, I'll be releasing a brand new Metroidvania Revisited review where I replay and re-review Turbo Kid so I can assess the free content that dropped recently. And of course, like all Premium Edition games releases, all updates and post-launch content will be on the cart. Metroidvania fans, or as I like to call you all, Metroidvaniers, and Turbo Kid fans would be doing themselves a terrible disservice by not picking up this gem. So what are you waiting for? Grab your gnome stick, hop on your BMX, and rush on over to Premium Edition Games' website to get your pre-orders in when they drop. And if anyone gets in your way, you know what to do. Thank you. That was cool. This is so much fun. Our premium standard for Turbo Kid contains the full game on cart, full color manual, two-sided inlay, challenge card, and of course our higher quality slipcover. We'll have these available for an open pre-order starting November 25th, 2024. Our Retro Edition contains everything in the Premium Standard, plus a CD soundtrack and a bonus item that will be revealed soon, all housed in our high-quality embossed retro box. These will also be on the website starting November 25th, 2024. Our Deluxe Edition contains everything in the Retro Edition, plus a steelbook, a shock box, and a hardcover strategy guide done by our in-house experts, all housed in our high-quality slipcover. These will also be on our website starting November 25th, 
2024. That's right, another awesome release getting the deluxe treatment. That's two back to back. Hell yeah, brother! We are beyond thrilled to be bringing out Turbo Kid from Outer Minds. And yes, Charlotte, before you ask, this is a continuation of the cult classic film from 2015 of the same name. Enjoy massive amounts of pixel gore with Metroidvania gameplay as you shred your way through a new storyline. Turbo Kid also had a very successful Kickstarter back in 2021 where it secured over three times its goal and hit several stretch goals. We love seeing these games come to fruition. This highly rated game lets you play as both the titular kid as well as Apple from the film. The non-linear narrative allows you to complete the game in any order you want as well. Control the story and your bike while leaving waves of blood and guts in your rear view. It's over the top and dangerously satisfying in the best way possible. I won't lie, that sounds like my kind of game. It sounds like it's going to be an absolutely wild ride too. Hope everyone enjoys the journey when you all get your hands on Turbo Kid. With this said, let's toss it on back to those sweet babies Jeff and Barry to wrap things up. Oh god, I do love them. Let's bring it home, fellas. Thanks guys. What an exciting direct. So many things happening this fall. You said it, Barry. Switch Series 10 has three killer games, a brand new NES title, and some significant Kickstarter updates, including a new Kickstarter title joining the premium family. As we usually do, let's do a quick recap. First is Alyssa Developer's Cut, which will be launching on October 28th, 2024. That means it's available for pre-order on our website right now. Following that, we have Arcade Tycoon on November 11th, 2024. Remember, there's a bunch of exclusive in-game machines for our physical release celebrating Premium's history. Rounding out our Series 10 is the amazing Turbo Kid, the sequel to the cult classic film. It opens for pre-order on November 25th, 2024. We also have the Soul Quest Kickstarter still live right now, so make sure you support this excellent developer. You could also support Crystalla, Godchar Chronicles, and Forge of the Fae via their backer kits. Finally, we have our brand new NES game, Sunset Land, which will soon be available for pre-order. There's also a bunch of fantastic in-stock games still available on our website. Now's the perfect time to catch up on any releases you might have missed. We also have several books from Hagen's Alley available on our website, so make sure you grab some copies of these video game related books. Now that all of that's out of the way, it leaves us with what people are expecting most, our premium hype button. Ever since we introduced the hype button in our Series 3 Direct, it's become a staple and something we love using to hype up a future release. This time, we're instead going to focus on the past and the present, instead of the future. While we have an exciting 2025 plan filled with some genuinely stellar titles, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Certain circumstances cause delays in getting some games out to everyone on time, and we want to take this time to go through our production backlog so everyone receives the games they ordered as soon as possible. We appreciate everyone's patience and want to do right by everyone. We hope everyone is as excited for 2025 as we are at Premium. Thank you to all the dedicated fans and supporters that allow us to keep making our dream a reality with your support. And to all the talented developers who have been very patient with us. We look forward to seeing you all in 2025 with a stellar Switch Series 11 and PlayStation Series 3. Until then, please follow us on all of our socials so you don't miss out on any announcements, second chance sales, and shipping updates. And join our Discord for additional updates on our releases, conventions, and so much more. Until next time, everyone, have a great holiday season. We'll see you all in 2025.